Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of Extreme Banding, the slow YouTube camera channel dealing with various photographic nightmares. I am living in one of them right now, December in the north of Sweden. Weather is so-so, and the sun never rises. There's no time or place for photography. So what can you do? Think about which all-mechanical rangefinder camera with a cost below 1,000 euros you would like to use for the rest of your life, perhaps. So the Besa T, released in the early 2000s by Cousina Voigtlander, was a great idea. It skipped the viewfinder and relied on auxiliary finders with a rangefinder of 1.5 times magnification. So really a camera that realized that the best framing, well, you will get that from an auxiliary finder. But at the same time, pretty, you know, almost unusable without an auxiliary finder. Of course, you can use it as a pointing device and guesstimate the framing, but then it would have been easier if it had had a one-to-one -one magnified viewfinder. Anyhow, it has all the modern stuff, as I said earlier, M-mount, but you know, M-mount. Here we have a, with a M39 adapter, which was included in the anniversary kit. There are a lot of T anniversary kits unused on eBay and so on, with the magnificent collapsible Heliar lens. So it has, you know, all times on the dial here, of course, two thousand of a second to one second, lever wind. Which is, you know, it doesn't have a... It feels like a modern camera. It doesn't have the charm of the old mechanical ones from the 50s. But it's, you know, easy to wind. It has a window where you can see your film speed. And you set your ISO here. Because it also has a light meter. But as we only have mechanical cameras here, this one of course works perfectly fine even without batteries. So, this the anniversary inversions, they have different colors. This is the green one, there's also blue, gray, and black. It's, it looks nice and it is very nice in hand. It has a small bump here, which is, well, it's not really necessary maybe, but it's good for your thumb. It is also very light. It weighs 410 grams without the adapter, 426 grams with the adapter. Uh, so basically it weighs like a Barnac Leica, but with modern day film loading. It has dual metal shutters, which is it's for the metering, but unfortunately this makes the mounting of and the smallest collapsible lenses not possible because they hit that curtain. Uh, also lenses that protrude deep into the camera like Jupiter 12, Rosar, for example, they will not fit. The collapsible Heliar, of course, fits and lenses that only protrude a little bit. So 1.5 viewfinder and about the same as on the Leica 2. So this is the viewfinder of the Besa T. It is a 1.5 finder fixed. I mean, you kind of have to guesstimate your frame lines or use an auxiliary finder. And this is, well, it's modern, it's bright and clean. It's the best 1.5 finders of all the cameras I've tested. The after correction, as I said, it's, it's very light and it doesn't have that solid feel. Otherwise, it's kind of a modern day equivalent to the Leica 2F. But I think it's a bit of a lost opportunity. The, as you can see, you can take this one, the viewfinder window is more to the center than on the Barnack Leicas and uh, the other rangefinder cameras as well. And this, I think it is because, you know, you can have this more in the center is a good thing and uh, you get closer to the auxiliary finder this way so you don't have to change as much, which is a good thing. But the thing is it's not as comfortable to put your eye to this as parts of your face will kind of wear against this one. So if I had constructed this camera, 
I would have made it a one-to-one -one finder and try to move these ones a bit further apart. It would have had implications for this dial and this and this, but well, you know, like know how to move stuff around but they are they do make more expensive cameras you really have to have an auxiliary finder and if we look past the meter and compare it to the Leica 2f you have the 1.5 separate finder which is in a better place on the Leica 2f the weight is the same the Leica 2f is smaller they are as wide as each other but the 2f is thinner and lower and without the adapter even lighter and it includes a 50 millimeter viewfinder and if you're using an auxiliary finder it will mount much lower than on this one the advantages of this one you know the feel is better in this one as well as a knob wind. I actually prefer that. But the thing is, of course, this is the comfortable alternative. You have the light meter. And if you shoot a lot of film, this is nicer, of course, than the Achilles heel of the Barnaclark as the bottom loading. I don't think if you shoot films, you know, if you don't sh change film that often, it's not a problem. But if you really produce, that's where the best of tea comes in. Also, small things like this window is very good for that. As a production camera, I think that's where the best of tea is really a good deal. And as it, you can have it for four to five hundred euros, maybe half the price of a like I am too, which is the cheapest like I am, or more than half the price. It is a little bit more expensive than this one. But you you can mount M, M mount lenses also on this. It has advantages, but as a, you know just a camera, I prefer this one. And you know you can also put this one in, which is even, even smaller. And then if you have a lot of money, of course, you can get a Leica M with metering included. But the Leicas are bigger. On the other hand, they don't require an external viewfinder. So, the Besa T. Nice camera. Could have been even better, but we got to enjoy what Cosina were generous to produce for us in the early 2000s. The Besa T was part of Cosina Voigtlander's relaunch of rangefinder cameras in the early 2000s. A relatively small and light rangefinder camera with modern features such as metering, easy film loading and one two thousandth of a second top shutter speed. It has a wide effective rangefinder base while keeping a good view with all lenses since it relies on auxiliary finders. That same thing also makes it a bit less versatile, especially compared to Barnack Leicas, who make for a smaller package while also including a built-in finder and having a slightly recessed shoe for lowering auxiliary finders. Other drawbacks are the placement of the eyepiece, which could have been more to the side, no metering indicator inside the viewfinder, inability to mount deep lenses as well as having a bit modern less inspiring feel than the cameras originating from the 50s but if you just want to shoot film with a rangefinder in a hassle-free way the Besa T is an excellent choice especially for the money